Hello, my makeup loving friends. How's it going? Welcome back. It's been another week. So we have a week's worth of new makeup releases to talk about. Behind that dog, there is an Anna. Hi. Yes. And if you if you do, you know, search hard enough, you will find her. You know the drill. I'll have all of her details down below. It, it's a whole thing. We're going to just make a quick general announcement. My cosmetics is no more. So I kind of suspected that was going to happen. She kind of said she was closing doors for a little bit, but it seems that it's permanent now. And based upon some experiences that customers have had in the last while in terms of like shipping, et cetera, Wilma, I heard all about it. Um, I'm kind of not that surprised, but it does suck. You know, that's somebody's dream didn't work out. Yeah. Plus, okay. you know, they, she was very good for our, our girl Elena and would always like repost her stuff. And I appreciated that. Yeah, it's a shame. Yeah, it is what it is. But look, loads of people to thank for tagging me in content. Yeah, fabulous, fabulous creatures. So a big thank you to Brianna, Ali, Beth, Gillian, Claire, Wilma, Chrissy, Sue, Tina, Susie, Ula, Shanna, Brogan, Mary, Lucy, Gina, Lisa, JW, Rhea, Tia, Kylie, Karen, Sylvia, Cecily, Missy, Emily, Alexis, and Kasia. Big thank you. And this week I don't have uh, Sahil like responding 10 seconds later. Of, oh, that's Tia's name. <laughs> like, yes, we covered that, sweetheart. We covered it. I feel like I can't compete. With, I'll never be able to compete with Sahil. <laughs> well, look, at least you're not dipping my brushes into drink. I promise I will not dip your brushes in, in my drink. I got a lot of DMs of like, which side of the brush was it? <laughs> that he put in and I was like he's bad but he's not that bad he put the handle in like, you are there with like bristles just put like, the other side in the cheeto cheeto lip scrub <laughs> this tastes very duo chromey thank god all of my brushes are always clean like uh, it was very stressful and then he just wiped it off and put it back into the into the thing and I didn't know which brush it was <laughs> Horrible. Oh, Anyways, big thank you uh, to him for for appearing last week. He he has said he would do it again. So amazing. There you go. And a big thank you to my Patreons. You're a fabulous, fabulous bunch. Now we do have a theme this week. Um, because honestly, is anyone else as confused as I am as to what the fuck is going on? <laughs> In, in my country, we're having restrictions, but also no restrictions. And it's all very confusing. And I don't know what's happening on. So basically, our theme is tis confusion. And I'm tired and have been working all day. So didn't get to do anything. And Anna just comes, came straight from Zumba because she is a contributing member. Straight from, I, I am still wearing my kit. That's that's how, how straight from Zumba I am. And I mean... For me, the theme is also very fitting because I have no idea what day it is. <laughs> Still, <laughs> I need like a, a full, I need a full week. <laughs> yeah, we're at that point. It is that weird post Christmas thing where you're like, eh. I only know it's Wednesday because I film on a Wednesday, like or and yeah. or. That's it. That's you like used to film on a Thursday, which yeah, also threw me. Yeah, but this is this is easier for me because it gives me an extra day to edit. And great. I need more time. I need more time. But anyways, uh, I, I think maybe some Patreons might have done a thing. Who knows? If they have, you'll see pictures. And if not, well, then we're, we're just going to get straight on into it. So, oh, God, a new year. And uh, Morphe. Morphe have some nine pan palettes. There's the 9Z and the 9B. And the 9Z is uh, $12. And then the 9B is the pinky one. Um, funnily enough, as I was doing my brows, I used my Ciate, Miss Piggy. Oh, yeah. Have a look at those colours and have a look at the 9B. Very similar. But they're act apart from, there is a, oh no, it's identical. Slightly different order, they're identical. Identical. But I would, can I also just say, just looking at the 9B, I, I just saw Colourpop. I thought it was co Colourpop at first. When, when I scrolled through earlier, I, I did assume it was Colourpop. And I was like, oh, another Colourpop. Yeah, which? I can't, do you know what? I've, I've forgotten about Morphe. I know, same. I forget that they exist so sometimes. Around. Yeah, like, they are completely, even the brushes, I don't use the brushes anymore. Well, I can use the ones I've got, but yeah. I, I wouldn't buy them. Yeah. I wouldn't buy them again. Yeah. I mean, I have some favourites, like the M562 and the M506. But other than that... No. I can get, I can get all the Morphe brushes that I like 
from elsewhere. Yeah. Better quality. I find a lot of my Morphe brushes are shedding like. Hiya. Uh, yeah, they, they start shedding, and yeah, they, they're just no. It's not. I don't think I'll repurchase anything from Morphe. Really, I, they're just irrelevant. It does feel like, I mean, a lot of the people that used to support them are like James Charles, Jefferson Starship, Jackson yeah. Hill, and they don't carry as much favor. I mean, they're still very popular, but they they aren't as relevant as they once were. Yeah. So I'm kind of like. I feel that maybe Morphe are on the way out or it feels like it. Yeah. Uh, see, I, I, think, days. I think do not jump onto the laptop. Uh, I think <laughs> if they just, if they just, they... she jumped on the laptop. Uh, if they just did brushes and did them well, just, just do brushes. I really hope that you picked up that audio. <laughs> that was uh, Ralph helpfully telling Kiwi that she shouldn't jump on the laptop. He's very helpful. Can Ralph also tell Morphe to stop making shite? Yeah. Because I'll be honest, I'm still annoyed that the, my last couple of purchases from Morphe have been atrocious. The 35i, that pony palette, remember the, the oh, that was awful. Um, the uh, Vanny Greg, where they were like, eh, there's liners. I was like, fuck off, those are not. Liners. Oh God, yeah, I remember what that. That was that was atrocious. So I'm like, no, you're not, you're not fooling me again. I'm not doing any of this. I will say, like, I think they have some products that are okay, like mm. they're not bad, but I've got a contour I, stick, which is nice. Yeah, but like the contour stick is good. But there's still like other brands I would kind of that would be higher up on my list. Yeah, forget yeah, yeah. Uh, the foundation is the worst, the the worst foundation yeah. I have ever tried. It, I, I've never seen anything like it. It was it was <laughs> it was literally like, are you melting? <laughs> it was melting off my face. It was like dripping. Damn, it, honestly, it was. I wish I'd taken some pictures. It was so bad. I mean, that'd be handy if you were playing, you know, the witch in Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Wasn't handy in the gym when they claim to be sweatproof. No, I would imagine not. Wasn't um, a good look. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, like, looking at these two palettes, I'm like, there's nothing interesting. No. Like, we've seen all of this before. The purpley bluey thing is is okay. I don't, like, the purpley minty thing is okay, but I'm like, we've seen that. There, there's a, a million palettes out there. Do you know what? I... I sooner go to she glam she in yeah you know that's like i don't that, to be fair that says a lot because obviously the issues with she in as well but i'd still rather go to them yeah oh absolutely i'm like i much prefer them and yeah. when i put this to you guys 22 percent of you loved it so i mean you can kind of see people just aren't interested in no. them anymore no but they're like more fear like maybe if we just keep pumping stuff out something will hit and they have something else here as well this is their sweet tea collection and they said sweet tea just got sweeter did it did it really uh they say our most loved cult favorite liner shade uh, sweet tea inspires a new collection for lips and eyes coming the 3rd of january so they have the 35 tea it's the sweetest tea artistry palette for 28 dollars and then they have two lip trios so one is in sweet tea and one is in sweetest tea and they're 18 dollars each that's, that's confusing yeah um so the the sweetest tea palette is it just me or does it look like a toned down version of the Jaclyn Hill too. Yeah, and also I can see all the shades from the two nine pounds are in there. So, I mean, what, why would you release them at the same time? Yeah, I think the only thing that I would add a push get is maybe the lip trios because they do look like nice shades. The one um, stood up. Yeah. I like that, that the, the more pinky toned yeah. Yeah. rather than the orange two tone because I like the pinky, pinky nudes. Yeah, uh, so I'm guessing that might be sweetest tea. Yeah, or is that too logical to think that the pinker one is? Well, they just uh, said that one is like, ow, Jesus, cat. Uh, one is mocha, 
And then the other one is Auburn sweetest tea. So we, we neither we, of those are Auburn. Yeah, I, I, and I'm very confused. But also, what does sweet tea have to do with any of these colors anyway? Butthole! Sorry. <laughs> Welcome. This is my heart. Yeah. Well, that's what she thinks. Yeah. That's just what this episode will be called the one with the butthole. Yeah. Uh, it won't, though, because, you know, monetization and all of this. She's like, no, mother. She's been long enough without me. Um, it, 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 I mean, obviously, every brand has done so much at this point that it, it gets to a point, particularly when you have a brand that is constantly churning stuff out, that it's impossible mm. to come up with something new. But it does feel like they've just come out with the stuff they already had and just arbitrarily went, we'll call it 35 T this time. And I feel like they're running out by some letters and numbers at this stage. Yeah. I mean, at least they didn't go with the Greek alphabet. They'd have had less options then. Well, that's why we're going to have no more COVID variants because we're now out of letters. Yeah. Yay! Yay. I don't think they'd gone with like a different like alphabet though just to get us through all of this a little bit quicker i love the idea that this was all dependent upon the alphabet chosen yes yes not down to science no. um, i do feel like if i got this palette and i just like clawed at the um like sticker at the front that it would be like jacqueline hill volume two like underneath it just the stock they couldn't yeah. get and i'm like i just i don't care yeah I, Truly, I mean, even even the lip kit, yeah, that the standing up lip kit is nice, but I can get that, yeah, anywhere. Like genuinely, I I don't care. I'm pretty sure some of the lowest shades will be similar, and then you can just use any lipstick. Yeah, and it, you know, will be better quality. Oh hell yeah, yeah! I'd sooner have the lowest stuff because you can get a liner for seven pound ninety nine, and you can get a gloss. For like nine pound ninety nine, so like I I know there isn't like a lipstick included, but like they're really pigmented, so you don't need it. No, and, and I, again, neither of those shades are groundbreaking of the lipstick. So if you absolutely wanted a lipstick, I I can guarantee I have both those shades. Oh yeah, in so, my in my drawer of over a hundred nude lipsticks. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, um, in the nicest way possible. I just I don't care about this. Like no. I and I is anyone still buying Morphe? Could could you let me know? Because I'm genuinely interested. Like, is like are people are people still buying from them? Anyways, when I put it to you guys, 10% of you loved it. Mm. So look fair. We've we yeah, yeah, we've all been there. Now, this next one, this is from Danessa Merricks, and this mm-hmm. is the new infinite chrome pencil, and they're meant to be duo chromes. So there's quite a few. They say that they're color shifting, waterproof, and smudge proof, and they are $22. So there's a couple of different ones. There's amethyst, bronzite, caroite, emerald, jade, quartz, lilac quartz, morganite, opal, rose quartz. Now, I will say when you look at the swatches, only a few of them look like truly duochrome in whatever way mm. you pictured them. But I think it is just one of those things that it's it's difficult to picture. I can't really show a duochrome unless you're yeah. doing like a boomerang. Yeah. I, um, I want them. Yeah, I think they're really good. <laughs> I will say, though, I have the ones from She Glam, which were like a fraction of the cost. And I'm fucking obsessed. Oh, really? I love them. Okay. Like, Noted. yeah, you, just get them. J- just, just get the She Glam ones. Mm. They are so good. I, you know, I hadn't heard of this brand until like last week because someone, someone had bought a couple of the, her liquid yeah. glitters and said that they are like the bomb. Yeah. She's, like, 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 they just want to smear over your face. Yeah, because I've had a few people like even messaging me kind of going like, I use these in my kit all the time. These are so fantastic. Like they're brilliant. It's MUA standard. Like mm. she's going to be absolutely fantastic, um, which fabulous. Now, nothing to date has necessarily interested me so far that I've been like, yeah, I'm going to, I'm you know, going to try. But I know her stuff is available both on Cult Beauty and Beauty Bay. Mm-hmm. So, you know, look, guys affiliate link down below if you want to buy things 
keep me and Cece in the finery that we are accustomed to. <laughs> Um, you know, um, I do like these. Like, I mm. genuinely do. I think they're really, really pretty. Um, Carol White is really shouting my name, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. And Morganite, Mor- Morganite, is it? Uh, yes. Oh, I love the look of that one. Very pretty. Uh, absolutely beautiful. I like the the shade uh, Jade because it's that like minty. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know? I wouldn't say no to any of those. Like no, no. Like, See, I don't. Again, I tend to not wear green because I have green eyes. Yeah. I tend to go towards purple and like bronzy just to kind of make my eyes pop. But they are. And then, I mean, I am. I could always say that you know, people that I work, you know, their clients might have a different eye color. <laughs> Hashtag oh, it's for my kit. For my kit. F A K for Anna's kit. Yeah. I think this is the sort of thing that I would gradually be adding to my mm. like ridiculous collection that I'd be like, OK, once every two or three months, I'll go and treat myself to yet another pencil liner that I won't need. But what? Yes. So like, yeah, I think I think I'm. Yeah. Are you all right there, Cece? Do you agree? She's like, yes. I think I think you should get yourself nice. I think these are beautiful. Mm. Um, I think that duochrome liners are a really nice way to introduce duochrome without like being too frightened. Yeah. I know a lot of people are like afraid to have like duochrome highlighters when they're out and about. They're like, oh, it'll look a weird shift or whatever. And I'm like, I don't give a shit personally, uh, but I'm that person. But I think this is nice for like some people just trying things out. Yeah, and I like the, the, the like crayony rather than liquid yeah yeah but i think because i was burnt by the xx revolution <laughs> i knew you'd have that reaction because that is the worst worst liquid liner i have ever come across and um, the worst kind of duochrome product and it can it's it's put me off duochrome liners forever i it's so bad no, look, Sorry, right, I have a she glam here next to me. This is subliminal. Let me show you. And get your head out of the way, you big idiot. So we're talking to sale. That is very pretty. Very pretty. Right. She glam did it better than revolution. There's a reason we are called the enablers. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, um, I love the look of this and it seems a lot of you guys do as well because 56% of you loved it. So fair. Uh, this next one then is from Chixie Beauty, which is a US brand. And this is their palette called Enchanted Fortress. It is a mix of mattes and shimmers. It's apparently cruelty free and it's $25. Can I just say, I love that there's a black in there. Yes, but can I just say that this is the most uninspiring advert I have ever seen? Yeah. It's one step away from them just using Times New Roman. It's, it's like, we are spending zero on yeah. our advertising budget. Uh, it's really uninspiring. Um, it's very much like, here's a palette. But I mean, the palette itself, I, I don't have anything negative to say. Yeah. There are some shades that are similar, but it looks like one is matte and one is shimmer. And I actually love when a brand does that. I like that. I like corresponding. Like, yeah. Because I've gotten very annoyed at palettes recently where I've had a matte and I've wanted to have a corresponding shimmer and there isn't one. And I'm yeah. like, the fuck am I meant to do with this nonsense? Symmetry, people. We like symmetry. I do, I do, it's just it's very pleasing to me. Yeah. So, do you know what? $25 for this. I don't so it, hate it. It's very pretty. Yeah. And I think, yeah, I think a more kind of, he actually, when I, was, when I was looking through the PDF earlier, he actually made me snort laugh because it's just like, ugh. <laughs> we, we had absolutely no time to think of a campaign. We, we didn't want to do any form of advertising. Here it is. Lightning. Okay. <laughs> so... I don't know if you've ever seen like Step Brothers, and you know yeah. when, the, when the brothers are like trying to come up with like an ad camp. It feels like this is an ad campaign that they came up with, and they were like, "There's lightning and there's Zeus and you're in a fortress, and uh, and Zeus is coming down." And he's like, "Yeah, eyeshadow man." Uh, it feels, it feels like that, and then they just and they forgot go. the text. Yeah, 
and, and they they go into another rendition of boats and hose um which like superb like I'm all for that I've I fucking love Will Ferrell I love Will Ferrell yes I made Sahil watch uh, Elf because he'd never seen it before uh, over Christmas and he was like this is actually very good and I was like I told you funnily enough my parents my, my mum texts me she goes we're watching Elf and I am absolutely peeing myself laughing I'm like yes, yes. <laughs> he's been on a throne of lies Santa oh my god <laughs> I, I absolutely love it I just love Will Ferrell like so much I went to see obviously I went to see Book of Mormon with Lucy and um I just we both feel like they were based on Jonah Hill and Will Ferrell like the two main characters because that's all you can kind of see that's my kind of energy but it does feel like when you're looking at this palette the way that it's advertised it's those brothers in yeah. Brothers, and that's what yeah. they came up with yeah which I, I'll be honest that actually only makes me like it more yeah but, but, do you know what you've kind of sweat you you've kind of made me go a, a full 180 because I did it did make me actually laugh how bad the advert was <laughs> but yeah no it, the, the palette is very pretty I don't have anything bad to say about it and $25 $25 yeah it's got deep shades it's got good blending out shades yeah yeah I think it's a good one now when I put it to you guys you were far more discerning 45 percent if you love it so yeah it is what it is NARS are back on it they have their new the light reflecting foundation so they say it's makeup that looks like skin acts like skincare feels light as air instantly blurs the look of blemishes dark spots redness and texture skin while improving skin clarity over time natural finish all day wear 36 shades for most skin types including sensitive skin and it's apparently going to be available from January 13th online well then I mean, I mean uh, I very rarely hear people say anything negative about NARS foundations. And I, look, I know this isn't like their foundation, but it's their concealer pop. Mm. I think this is my third one of this. And, and like, it is, it is well loved. Like, I have significantly had mm. that. Yeah, I've got, I've got the, the creamy, the creamy radiance ones. In, this I, is my kit here, by the way. So I've got them in my kit, uh, and they are they are fun. It is one of them that just lives up to the hype. Yeah, like Nars do shocking, and I mean shocking eyeshadows. Like, yeah, who gives a shit? I actually think they should just stop making eyeshadows. Like, it's a waste of everyone's time. But their face products, yeah, are so. I will also say their eyeliners are really good, really, really good. Um, yeah, I'm I'm intrigued. I don't need any more foundation. I do not. No, I have no. foundation to do me for the rest of my life. But I'm interested to see what yeah. people think of this. I feel like it'll probably be good. The bottles look very small, though. Or either that or that person has got really big hands. Because they look smaller than the standard. I don't know if it's, it's a yeah. wider and shorter. We're talking girth. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I'm going down the rabbit hole. <laughs> it's the chode of foundations, you know? Yeah, it's it's short and stout. <laughs> but yeah, it does look like a small bottle. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Bring it back. Bring it back. Yeah, like I saw they have like a liquid blusher and that is in a similar bottle. Mm. And that's quite Did small. How, like, how, how big the bottle is? Um, no, it doesn't say actually. Hmm. We shall see. We shall Interesting. see. Interesting. Yeah, it does look tiny. Either that or if that person has giant hands. But do you know what I would love? I would love if that like, person brand, has giant hands. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Amazing. But I would love if brands, you know, when they're coming out with something, did a tiny, like a small bottle that you could try and then have bigger bottles. Yes, not a sample that yeah. you get one use out of. No, no, like yeah, I'm then, talking about like a month's worth. Lancome do that. Uh, again, very similar to Niles in that sense, that Lancome's eyeshadows, terrible, worst in the world. But they're, 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 some of their foundations are excellent and they do. Uh, that they're like a, a, a good size sample yeah. so you get 
at least a couple of weeks if you wore it every day, which is brilliant. Yeah. So I'm like, if if they're doing something like that, yeah, I'm not against it. Like I'm not against it. I would also say I think they're smart, maybe coming out in a with a small enough bottle because people aren't wearing as much foundation as they once did. True. Because of the masks. Yeah. So I actually think this is kind of smart in a way yeah. to bring the price down. I don't know. It's I a buy. Like, yeah. It's a buy. Is it cheaper than the, the others? Again, I've never tried. Mm. I hope they do make it cheaper if it's smaller. We'll have to have. We'll have to do some detective work. Yes. Get your, get your thinking caps on. I like it. I'm interested in mm. it. When I put it to you guys, 60% of you loved it. So mm. we're, we're all about the complexion in the new year. We want to make, make people think that we took care of ourselves over Christmas and didn't overindulge in our skin is perfect. You know, Or had COVID. Yeah, we're all fine. Everything's fine. Yeah. Um, fine. I wasn't staying in until Boxing Day. <laughs> Uh, then we have Ace Pite, and um, I will say this feels like a little bit of a, a whimper after their last release, which was that beautiful yellow green palette. And mm -hmm. this is their floral vintage eyeshadow palette. It's forty nine dollars. I feel like it's something uh, more feet release. Yeah, it does. Like a twenty four F. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> F for no fucks given, you know. <laughs> Like yeah, it's um, it's a whole row of pooey brown. Yeah, there's a black in there. <laughs> yeah, which I do like. Um, mm. it does feel like there's a couple of shades in there that are quite redundant and repetitive, and that yeah. once they get on the eye, they're going to be super, super simple uh, or yeah. super similar. Like I think they could have gotten rid of an entire rose worth, and it would have still oh, been pooey brown. Yeah, that's the second row I can go. Yeah, definitely. I think this is a good like everyday sort of palette you know for people who like just want a yeah. like, wash of color it's not for for me like yeah. I, I'm not really into that I will say though I've heard a lot about ASPT and their change in formula and it is meant to be a lot better so if you like the look of that you might get on well with it I will say maybe it's just me being insane $49 feels like an awful lot for that yeah does it not and then like if you're if you're ordering from the states then you're gonna have to pay customs and duties and it's, it's no. not it for me no, I'm not here for it. No, no, no. I would have been willing to do it for the green yellow palette. Mm. But I'm not willing to do it for this. No, it's it's too I I can get it. Do you know what? It's quite similar to I think is it the second soap palette? You're the extra, right. The extra spice. It is. That yeah. bright yellow, dark green. Mm-hmm. Um the red, yes, is very similar to extra spice. Okay. Yeah. So, and what that was, what twelve pound, something like that. So, yeah. and brilliant quality. Yeah. To be fair, uh, any of the collab ones tend to be much better quality. Um, the soft collabs, especially, are, are yeah. always excellent. I just, I just don't like. If this was Tinder, I'd be swiping left. Like, yeah. Meh. Like. I think we've talked enough about it. Let's be fair. I want to yeah. put it to you guys, 25% of you loved it. Yeah. So, yeah, fair. Jacqueline Hill. Did you hear that she got engaged? Oh, did she now? Yeah. Congrats, Jacqueline. Oh, um, Jacqueline. Well, I hope she is happy. I hope he treats her right. Same. Same. Yeah. They, yeah. Whomever. Um, Anyway, they have the Skin Perfecting Blurring Tint for $34. They say it's a blurring sheer coverage skin tint doing double duty as a blurring primer and a tinted moisturizer. Comfy Real Skin Perfection is only a pump away in 12 shades. And they also have the Faux Filler Perfecting Concealer for $26. It's apparently a buildable medium to full coverage concealer that visibly brightens, blurs and flexes with skin for a flawless finish all day long in 35 shades. So the blurring tint is $34 and the concealer is $26 again I think they're going very much with the whole like assumption that people are going to be wearing minimal makeup these days mm. masks and stuff so I think it's it's kind of on trend with that hey I am not that mad at the shade range yeah I actually think it's pretty pretty decent like it's particularly good, like good the, range of undertones yeah yeah I think it's they've actually like based upon the picture that we're seeing here Mm. I think it's pretty good and particularly if they're talking about a skin tint yeah. having you know you don't need as much coverage on that they are literally yeah. talking about like 
you know so like a wash you don't need as much there but I think the concealer I think is the one where it's really showing quite yeah. a few uh, like skin ranges and like I can see like even with the paler shades there's some good undertones there there's it's different there's stuff. not just 25 of beige and then a couple of token dark, deeper shades it's it's a good even within the lighter ones I can see everything yeah. from almost bright yellow to peach to pink and that's yeah. like often I'm, with, not, I'm not angry yeah like often with the lighter tones they tend to just do like a pink undertone and a lot of brands <laughs> tend to forget the yellow undertone so I think she's done well on that like that's that's smart yeah. I, I really, I really struggle to find concealers because I'm obviously shade Voldemort for warm. Ah, a warm Voldemort. Voldemort. No, Voldemort's good twin. Does he have a nose? I'm the one who got the nose. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you can tell them apart. It's, it is how you tell them. I've got more like a warm toned skin, and I've got the nose. Yeah. <laughs> but apart from that, identical. <laughs> Same number of horcruxes. No one's found mine yet. Yeah. <laughs> Axel's definitely one. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Um, it, it, I do find it interesting though, because when I put it to you guys, 27% of you loved it. I think, do you think it's to do with the fact that it's Jacqueline Hill? I think so. Because I, I, I don't know, I, I won't buy it because yeah. the. the, the the releases she's done and what's happened I'm just like not sure if I want to put it on my skin mm. you know there were bits in the lipstick yeah <laughs> what's in the skin tint I will say what's in like, the box I will say I got like her highlighter and stuff and I thought they were really really nice yeah um, yeah I just it, it's tricky to get and it's not something that like blows me away that I'm like oh I really really want this no but I mean I'm 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 happy for her and I am um, like I said I'm not angry with the shade range I think she's done pretty well I won't be buying it because I just don't I, I'm not just not sure if I trust yeah anything that she ever will release I do believe the highlighters were nice and they look nice and there's the child in the room which is <laughs> act natural if you don't make eye contact with it it should be fine it goes away yeah we're on to another skin mm. thing like this is I mean they're like new year new you new skin blah 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 blah. this is Laura Mercier and this is their new tinted moisturizer light revealer like all of them seem to be kind of like light revealers blah 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 this is their skin illuminator broad spectrum SPF 25 I will say you're gonna have to lamp a lot of it onto you to get an SPF of 25 to work so you know and uh, also do you remember how we said with the Jacqueline Hill like oh at least it's not just 10 shades of beige <laughs> Hi, Laura Mercier. Oh, Those first oh. 10 shades are identical. Oh, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Like, it's ridiculous. They're right. identical, and then four token deeper shades. Yeah, there are look, 14 look shades. At, look, at the, look at the swatches. Yeah. No. Yeah, and there's 14 shades in all, $48. I'm, look, $50. I know, I know $50 that they're saying... $50, and it doesn't matter which one of the first 10 you pick up honestly right this is the thing like I get that it's like a tinted moisturizer so you, you don't need an exact color match with those particular things but if that's the case then why are there five million light shades why did, why did you need 10 of them <laughs> you could you could have just had I, I think it's I've got the revolution pro skin tint um the one that uh is one of them adaptable ones so it comes out like a, it comes out gray which is terrifying but it does, and it's not one. It's not that one where it says like anyone buys the same shade, any adults, because that doesn't work. I know, <laughs> but it comes in six shades. Oh, huh. um, and they <laughs> so it comes in light, medium, tan, dark, deep, and deep dark. Mm. I think, um. And that works. So, and if you go on like the website, it, it says so, like, fair, oh, I think it's fair, life, medium, whatever. Yeah. It says, like, oh, 
this shade covers these foundation shades. This shade covers these. So you know which like which range yeah. you're in. And it works. Oh. But this, they have literally done 10 identical shades. I could pick up any of the first row, I reckon. Yeah. And blend it and look decent. Yeah. And I feel that would apply to me too. Yeah. And that's not... That's not and then, um, then you have to ask, well, why have all them then? Yeah. They could have actually just made it into like maybe six instead of 14. Yeah. yeah. Same, same effect. It's yeah, really weird. Absolutely. And to be fair, the four deep shades, also identical. Yeah. Well, there's two that are definitely very, very similar to each other. Yeah. Well, there's, there's two different of the deep ones, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not impressed. Yeah, yeah. I'm not impressed in the slightest. Yeah, and uh, it seems a lot of you guys weren't impressed either because only 20% of you loved it. So, fair. Which is interesting because, again, Laura Mercier do good base products. They do. They do, but I haven't seen anything of theirs that I've been interested in in a very long time. No, it, no. I, I, the original translucent loose powder, stay, you know, kit staple. Yeah, but apart from that, it's 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 the only thing I own from Laura Mercier. Yeah, same. I have mine here. Yeah, but other than that, yeah, don't don't care. Chanel have their spring twenty twenty two collection. Can I just say? It feels very weird to say twenty twenty two. It's going to take yeah. a lot of days to that. But they have the blush comet, and they come in two different shades for seventy dollars. The blush lumiere, which comes in two different shades for seventy dollars. Uh, the Le Four Ombre. $65 of just fucking shite. And yeah. the Rouge Coco Balm, a tinted lip balm in seven buildable colours for $42. Who is bananas enough to be spending for $42? For a chapstick. Oh, you're insane. Just go and get yourself some Burt's Bees if you're feeling really bougie. Yeah. Then they have the Ombre Premier Lac for $36. It's liquid eyeshadows in five shades. I love Jesus. And then the Balm Essential, $45 in eight shades whatever that is what even i'm guessing that's the yellow bottle i don't know so is that like a skin tint must be and then why are they still doing sponge applicators because you're charging 65 dollars for the, them shade four eyeshadows with a sponge applicator right here's the thing in science we have this thing called a bell curve and like on one end of the the distribution you see like a particular thing and on one end of the distribution you see another thing and then in the middle this is where the majority are right and it feels like the majority of makeup brands are like either we're not going to give you a brush or if we do give you a brush it'll be an okay brush and then on the other side of the spectrum is you know the really cheap little brands that you get in the two euro shop and they're like here here the sponge applicator but then on the other side is the really bougie brands chanel and dior going here here's the sponge paper. And I'm like, what the fuck is happening? I mean, Urban Decay and ABH, you get a brush. Yeah. And it's a good brush. It's a decent, it's like a double-ended. Yeah. Packing Sigma. brush on one side, blending brush on the other. And the decent. Yeah, Sigma. Yeah. And, I don't know, I should just, and also, if you're spending this amount of money on makeup, you're probably going to have a couple of brushes on. Yeah, I... but the audacity to charge that much for those four identical shit muddy puddled browns. Two thousand and nine, but I'm just having two thousand nine flashbacks to like a simple life with with Paris and Nicole when they were friends. Mm. That's that's what this I'm is. Actually, I'm actually, about. I'm actually offended. Yeah actually offended it's just it's that level of expensiveness where it's cheap yeah. yeah i don't get it i truly like i'm not rich enough to understand does, right does anyone who watched it like is anyone a well off could you explain this to me like what is the allure of of such things because i'm confused um i don't get it genuinely ge genuinely do not get it at all yeah, and when I put it to you guys, eight percent of you loved it. So, ouch. 
Yeah. Then our last thing that we're going to talk about is Dior. Dior are doing their spring 2022 collection. And Which one you have to get us? That's right, because, you know, you have to be consistent and, and deliver that high quality that we're all used to. So they have their five color or color thing, which is, you know, the terrible, like, there's, there's no variation in the color. All capacity of it. Yeah, yeah. So they're in the shades Pope Lime, which, what? And Organza for $62. And the, the bigger palette, which actually has a brush in it, well done, Dior, mm. is £110. <laughs> <laughs> What's the glitter? Is that a nail varnish? It looks like it's a varnish, doesn't it? Because I'm it's really, really fr- practical to do your nail varnish at the same time as your makeup because I can't see that going wrong in any way. Can I also just say the big palette? I'm very frightened to say this has three eyeshadows, a blush, and that's right, a lipstick. Yeah, a lip- and a nail varnish, a lipstick, and they haven't even got the little flippy thing to put over it. So no. that's right. Like, the fuck. You're gonna have that that move in your lipstick after the first application there's going to be hair stuck in it what in the two euro shop nonsense is this this is like the sort of palette that you know you give to a four-year-old girl or boy or child or whatever and they're playing with makeup for the first time and you give them something like this that you've got down in like the local pound shop whatever yeah this is what that's that is yeah and they're charging a hundred and ten pounds for it. My loves, go on to Beauty Bay, go on to Lois, go, go I don't care where you go, but don't fucking buy this, right? No. Buy them separately. Treat yourself, right? Even some, even like a, you know, we have a, the, there are the neutral makeup queens. Yeah. Great. Is anyone gonna feel inspired by those? But it's just three eyeshadows. What I feel like about? even Natalie Portman is going, Ugh. Yeah. You can see that look in her eyes, like, I'm questioning. I don't think this. she's even got either of the palettes on because no, there, there's a lot deeper shades on her eyes. Yeah. No, they've done their own thing. No. <laughs> no. Just. <Stop. laughs> like this. Stop it. Again, who is buying this? No. Who the, like? But somebody must be buying this because they keep coming out with these five color whatever nonsense. Who's buying it? Well, it ain't anyone with a deep skin tone. I can tell you that. That's Probably. right. It is for the pale amongst us. Yes. And I'm the palest, and even I'm like, no, no, thank. You. No, 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 it's not enough. I mean, I can see even on the Zoom that I am paler than you. Yeah. Um, and there's not, not enough depth, not enough depth for me. There's nothing there. It's terrible. Like, no. The fuck? No. 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 Anyways, when I put it to you guys, 10% of you love it. Which... No, see, I'm almost annoyed that more people like this one than the Chanel. Chanel. <laughs> almost annoyed. I will say the amount of messages I have gotten in the past of like, I didn't think to swipe. <laughs> I don't do it. I'm like, it's all right, <laughs> everything's fine. It's it's not that deep. It's just my well, it, it is. It's it's the highlight of my week, Teresa. Oh, well, thank you. But that does mean we're at the very end of the episode, and I, I do want to read out my favorite comment. Can I say I got so many comments from Sahil being on last week? I'm very aware that you now all love him more than me. So fuck you all, frankly. Um, I mean, it's 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 close. It's really upsetting for me. <laughs> really upsetting. Really impacts my sense of self-esteem and self-worth. But this is my favorite comment. And I will say it was really hard to narrow it down because there were a lot of excellent comments. Uh, but this is from Wilma from the Wilma Fingerdo review. And she says, All right, if you both don't stop being so adorable, I'll barf. LOL. I can't believe how much Sahil's smile warms up a room. He can stir his cocktail with any of my brushes anytime. Sorry, Teresa. LOL. XOX. I'm now terrified. Wilma's coming from a man. Um, and I, I don't think I can compete. <laughs> if Wilma's a better cook than me, I'm fucked. And not in a fun way. <laughs> you know? Like, oh, bless his heart. Yeah, because I'll be honest with you, Sahil will follow anyone that has snacks. <laughs> like, 
it's it's a miracle he wasn't kidnapped as a child because I feel he'd have been that person that somebody would be like we have sweets come follow us in the truck and he'd be like okay I'll go into the white van <laughs> I see that the windows are blacked out that's not ominous at all like I've got a kid doing that <laughs> oh there's more snacks it's like it's just the way ah uh, and here's it did, did I just yeah, am I still there? Yes, you are still there. I can't see myself, you see, because the cats have done, have done something to my settings. Well, there you oh, go. Oh, I'm back. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> it was like an existential yeah. crash. Anyways, guys, that's it. That's the whole kitten caboodle duties. Like, comment, and subscribe. You know the drill. Find Anna. Her, like, social media details are down below. Do you sound really sinister? Find Anna. Find Anna. <laughs> a reward will go to whoever brings me her head on a plane I'm joking (laughs) don't (laughs) do that don't do that but find her in a nice way you know like that sort of thing um and turn on that notification bell so you can see more videos and do please share because sharing is caring unless of course it's an STD in which case you know wrap it up don't be gross although based upon the current restrictions who knows maybe we are just meant to go around licking each other's faces who knows because everything is upside down and tis confusion but anyways shall we tell the people people on the internet about my child in ikea oh god yes because i think it was it was like peak child um so you went we went to ikea yesterday and i i am very proud of my kind of usage of the saying look with your eyes not with your fingers um small child slash horcrux obviously took this extremely serious and walked around ikea putting his eyeballs on everything (laughs) because he's just following instructions so yeah that's that's how we do it now it's like me as a child The instructions. Follow the instructions exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's like, why are you getting angry at me? I'm doing exactly what you told me to do. Stop being so confusing, mother. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that bonus off topic content. <laughs> or the one that was entirely off topic. Uh, but we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.